the flat seven. This is really useful, and it's it's actually more commonly used than some of the chords we've already seen, despite its weird name. Flat seven, what is it? Well, it's a major chord built off of the flat seven note in a key. So say we're in a major key, C. Here's our scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Seven's right before the one. Well, let's flatten that seven. Now it's a whole tone away from the one. Let's do that down here. Here's our one, flat seven. Build a major chord off of that, you get B flat major. And that's what it sounds like to go flat seven, one, as a cadence. In the key of G, F is our flat seven. It's been a hard day's night. Working like a dog. What is that? F G flat seven to one as a cadence. Okay. Or uh, oh flower of Scotland, when will we see your like again? That fought and died for you, we but hill and glen and stood against him. Proud Edward's army and said. Seven, one. Now that's how it feels as a cadence, but that is not the most common use of it. What's much more common is to go flat four, uh, excuse me, flat seven to the four to the one. Right? Like John Prine, make me an angel that flies from Montgomery. Make me a postcard of an old rodeo. Listen to the album version of that. It's great. It messes, the rhythm will mess with you. It's nice. Uh, if you haven't, the, the original um, from the 70s. I don't know what year. Uh, at the tail end of every chorus in the song Joey by Bob Dylan from his album Desire, which is wild, um, it goes. <laughs> If you like epic movies, that song is one. Um, <laughs> Joey. Um, or again, uh, Beatles. Have you seen, have you seen Polythene Pam? Flat seven, four, one. Very common in, in rock and roll. Okay, why does that work the way it does? Because of the relationship between the flat seven and the four. What is that relationship? It's a four to one. It's a four to one, cuz, check it out. If we're in the key of C, F is our four, right? But if we're in the key of F, one, two, three, four, B flat is our four. So B flat to F is a four to one. But F, C is also a four to one. So it's a four of the four of the one. That's the way it, that's why it feels the way it does. It's kind of, it's very analogous to when we did the two as a major or even as a dominant and, and we did the five of the five of the one. Same idea, right? It's a stacked subdominant, right? It's like four of the four of the one. Cool, right? Cool. Now you can use that and it's really useful the same way that the five is because four to one is such a strong, familiar cadence. Now it's not the same as a five to one cadence because five really has this internal want to go to the one, especially when you add the dominant seventh, which is distinctive to the five chord, right? You don't have something like that for the four chord. So it doesn't work exactly the same way, but but the, in that the four to one is a strong familiar cadence, you can rely on that as we have already seen in recent videos. We've done weird stuff and then I've hit the four gone to the one, four one, and it's been like, oh, okay, as soon as you hear that four, you're back and it's familiar and you're in the home key, right? So you can use that, that feeling of four to one in other cases, right? Same way you can use the feeling of five to one for other things than just the literal five to one.
right? So here is the four of the four to one. But it's not, uh, it's not useful in as many cases as the, the idea of playing the five of something is. Well, at least as a major chord, it isn't. Because here's the difference. Both minor keys and major keys have a five chord that's major. Now, that's why it's when we did the major three to the six, we saw that in both the video on the sixth chord and the major three, that was like a five to one. But the one was minor, right? Same thing with this one. The one is minor. It's a five to one, the one is minor. But we also, of course, did the one to the four, the one seven to four. And here our one is or four, what we're going to is major, right? And, and we did major, right? So it works whether you're going to a major or a minor. You can play the five of it and have it be this major chord and treat it as the five. Not so with the four chord because minor keys have a minor four chord, not a major one. So if you're playing a major chord, you're introducing a major chord, it won't work the same way if you treat it as the four of something, but what that something is, is minor. It's not really gonna work the same way. You'd have to make that four minor for it to feel like a four one in a minor key, which you could do. It's just, you gotta change it. So you can't, you don't have as many options with the same chord. Anyway, and because we haven't been talking about, we haven't been using these weird notes and chords from outside of the home key as a means to modulate, as a means to get out of the key. We've just been using them to add color to the key, as in we've been borrowing things or going to things temporarily and then immediately working them back into things that we're familiar with in the home key, right? And we're going to do that here too. If we're doing that, well, how many opportunities do we have to use a major chord as the four of something? Well only three, because we've only got three major chords in a key. The one, the four, and the five. The one, well, the four is literally the four of it. So that's, we've done that plenty. The four chord, what's the four of it? Flat seven, we just showed that, okay? So that's a new one, that's cool, that's useful. The five chord, what's the four of it? It's actually the one chord. <laughs> so one to five, from a different perspective, is could be a four to one. In the key of G, this is four to one. In the key of C, this is one to five. And there isn't something super distinctive with the four chord, like there is with the five chord, the seventh, that identifies it as a four chord specifically. Um, so, however, you could make it minor, as we saw in the video on the minor four. Here, this is coming to, into play again, right? Because just like how in the video on the 1 7, we were going from the 1 to the 4, but we wanted the 1 to feel like a 5 chord. We threw on the dominant 7th. Okay, well, similarly, it's again, it's not as distinctive, but it will add a sense of tension that wants to be resolved in a 4 to 1 kind of motion. If we take the, say, the 4 of the 4. B flat and make it minor and then go to the four right and and if we we can introduce that woo, it's weirder it's but the landing is always more important than the takeoff in that you can introduce weird stuff and so long as it's related, you show its relationship to the stuff that you are familiar with, the listener will be fine with it, right? It's like if you're at your friend's house, you know all the family members real well. Someone comes in the door you don't recognize, but immediately this, you see the way she interacts with the people there and you can tell, oh, she's the, she's the sister of the mom, so she's the aunt of my friends, right? And you can just tell from the way that they, she interacts with the people who you do know She's part of the family. And so you, you don't remember that day as the day that a weird person walked in the door. You remember it as the day you met your friend's aunt, right? Because the relationship is strong. So same kind of thing. Anyway.
So you can go to the weird thing, but oh, that's a minor four to one kind of thing going on there. Nice. What if we do minor four of the minor four of the one? Interesting, interesting. Okay, so that opens up some things. Uh, what else can we do? I want to show you one more thing. You can go to the two chord after the flat seven. Flat seven, two. And it really works. It really feels good, doesn't it? Why does it feel that way? It feels that way because, remember that relationship between the six and the one? I, I explained that in the video, the original video on the six chord. You could think of the six as like a minor twin to the one, and you could go to it in cases where you would normally go to the one. You can go to the six instead, surprise cadence, and it works, and it feels like a cadence just to a minor chord, right? That relationship between the one and the six, it's the four chord and the two chord have the same relationship, basically. If you were in the key of the what the four chord is, what before was your two chord is now your six chord, if you follow. So in the key of C, F is our four, D minor is our two. But if in the, in the key of F, the key of the four chord, D minor is our six. So if you play something that's like the five of or the four of, F, you could also go to D minor instead. And that's why it works here to go flat seven, instead of flat seven, four, flat seven, two, one. Cool. And there's other things you can discover that'll be a little more weird, but, but still totally usable. Um, anyway, flat seven, it's now part of your toolbox. There you go.